Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Easy does it, Sly. 
fly. Just don't go out onto that balcony, and you should remain undetected. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. An electronic witch. That could be useful. That's him. Rajat's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. That's the Contessa, a high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Jean Bisson, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Another Claw Gang member. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Carmelita is here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Leela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Oh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? 
Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Now that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch.
this guard from his post. Try ringing that gog and picking his pocket when he returns to his post. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Uh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? 
This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. Attention, guards. This is Lord Royale. The party here is in full swing and all visitors are now in the ball. Now, may this ball be the fault of the night. Not all of the guests are. So be not careful, look out for problems. I don't want any bad press from this event. You might 
need to use your stealth attack in here. Remember, the triangle button knocks guys up into the air, and the square button brings them down hard. <laughs>
got your tuxedo now, sir? Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. Your tuxedo disguise is working perfectly. No one will recognize you in that outfit. Now, during the heist, you'll need to dance with Carmelita to keep both her and the crowd distracted. The only problem is, she's picky about dance partners, so you'll need to impress her first. Alright, I know just the girl for the job. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry, do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of the dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. Try to memorize the steps. Now your turn. to get at old Ironsides. Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. That fellow is very graceful. If only you moved spice shipments as well. Oh, silence. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Neela, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Neela, his skills far surpass you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. Oh. 